SpaceX now, the Biden problem. The former vice president is not a strong candidate for president. Joe Biden is effectively running on his legacy, which ain't so great. 40 years of living off we the people, and this weakness was fully exposed during the Democrat debate. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, I think overall, other than that, Biden's performance was very weak. I think a substantively weak, but also physically, he didn't look so strong. Don't forget, Graham, he's, he's the leader by um, a lap around the rest of the field. He just has to not stumble. And after last night, I think it's abundantly clear that he's the only guy that can see the center lane. Everyone else is hard charging in a stampede to the left. So yes, you're right, he wasn't overly impressive. He wasn't overly articulate. It was bizarre, as you said, <laughs> he cut himself off. I've never seen that in years of watching these kinds of events. But he didn't screw up. And if he doesn't screw up, I predict he'll be the nominee. He did say some weird things, and unfortunately for him, I think, and this is gonna bite him, they started the night with, who is in favor of free health care for illegal immigrants and all the hands went up. Amazing. And that, I predict, will be the start of the Trump campaign. Amazing. Look at how the Dems want to spend your money, President Trump will tell the citizens of America. He and they, whoever the nominees are, want to take your tax dollars and give it to people who have feloniously broken into our country. Meanwhile, you can't afford your health care, and you on the street don't get any health care, but we're gonna take your money and give it to people that don't deserve it. They effectively, I think that's gonna alienate a major portion of the electorate. They effectively wanna redistribute wealth to uh, other countries. These people are from other countries, and, and that's effectively what they're talking about. I think he did screw up, especially with the Kamala Harris uh, incident, and I think it's anybody's race right now, but it's interesting, almost overlooked, Kamala Harris at the beginning of the debate uh, said something that, that I caught was not overlooked by yours truly, and that is a monthly stipend. Roll tape. I am proposing that we change the tax code so for every family that is making less than $100,000 a year, they will receive a tax credit that they can collect up to $500 a month, which will make all the difference between those families being able to get through the end of the month with dignity and with support or not. So there you go. It, it's a stipend. It's a monthly stipend. That she's, she's just kind of couching it into this, uh, you know, this, this tax form and the tax credit. But this is pure redistribution of wealth. Oh, absolutely. And she was supposed to be the big winner last night, according to all the pundits all day today. She made another faux pas that I think is going to bite her, Graham, and I think this is big. She made a big thing about she was the African-American on the stage that understands uh, what busing was about and understands integration and talked about the fact that she was in the second class in her school to have African Americans in it. It turns out that's an absolute lie. The school she went to was integrated before she was born, Graham. And today all over the internet, people are publishing the yearbooks from 1963 when there were black kids in the class. And she was born in 64. So when you make bold statements like that, there are a lot of people out there that are gonna fact check you. And I think that one's gonna bite her. I think the biggest takeaway from last night that I build on from the night before, Graham, is everybody on the stage wants to take your money, because you pay taxes, right. and my money, because I pay taxes, and give it to people that they want to buy votes from. Yeah. They're going to forgive a trillion dollars in student loans for the people that don't want to pay the loans back. They're going to give free health care because it's a human right. They're going to give voting rights to all the illegals. All these things cost money and take the money that we earn and pay to the government and, as you said, redistribute it. That is the Democrat Party platform for 2020, and I think Trump should have just watched with a big gleeful grin on his face because everyone that pays taxes is not going to want their taxes redistributed to people who don't want to contribute to the system. Just a final punctuation on uh, Kamala Harris. Is she was uh, growing up in Berkeley and, and doing the busing thing. I was growing up in San Francisco, part of the busing thing too, and it was 
a horrible liberal experiment. Some school districts still do it. It is very disruptive. It's a failure, and, and she's rising it up as some sort of tremendous, wonderful thing. It's not. It's, it's extremely disruptive, and parents on both sides of the busing situation uh, were against it, and I'm dead against something like that. Kamala Harris, to me, is the most dangerous of all because she is Barack Obama in a skirt. She's a radical. She's a racialist. She's operating by the rules for radicals, but she's breaking the rules, and that is very dangerous to me. Barry, thank you.